Hi guys, Arpita here. Welcome to my channel. We are going to be doing some negative painting today. I'll talk about it a little bit in detail in a minute, but first let me explain what's happening on the screen here. I've taped some 100% cotton watercolor paper onto a wood panel using masking tape and uh, we're going to be painting leaves today so I've wet the entire paper using this mop brush with just plain water and then I'm dropping some basic background colors of green and blue. You'll see me dry it using a hair dryer. I don't have a heat gun, that's the preferred tool, but you'll see me drying it using a hair dryer in just a minute. But let's get to talking about what negative painting means exactly. Negative painting basically is exactly what it sounds like. It's painting everything but your main subject. You basically draw out your main subject, which is leaves in our case, which you'll see me drawing in just a little bit. And then you paint everywhere around it with a higher value color. What this does is that it brings the leaves to the foreground and puts the focus on it while pushing everything else to the background. This is especially going to be helpful in conveying depth and layers, especially while working with some perspective. For example, if you're into urban sketching, that's one place where negative painting is something that you can use very effectively to your advantage because that's a place where you would have to convey depth. Now you can see me sketching out some of those leaves using a Pilot Color Eno pencil in orange, I believe. This pencil is pretty light and it usually disappears when you put watercolors on it. That's the reason I prefer to use these. You can find all the materials I've used in this video in the description box below. I'll have all those items that I used in this video listed down below for your reference. So here I'm just going around all of those outlines that I drew for the leaves with the pencil using a slightly darker green color so that I can push the leaves to the foreground and everything else to the background. You can see how as I'm painting around those outlines, those leaves from the previous background color that we had laid down on the entire page just sort of pops out as if it's in the foreground with the light hitting on it and everything else that's darker around it is receded into the background. Before starting the second layer here, I had another light pencil sketch of a second set of leaves, basically a few more stems kind of overlapping the ones from the first layer. And then I'm painting around those outlines with a slightly darker shade of green and blue, a combination of greens and blues. You can see that that not only puts the second set of leaves in the foreground, separating it from the background, but it also puts it right behind the first set of leaves. So now you have three distinct layers, the first layer, the second layer, and then the background. So you get the idea. The more layers of paint you put down, it's going to appear as if there are more layers of objects laying on your background and you can achieve that depth perception in your paintings. So there you have it. I did about three layers and I think I'm pretty happy with the results that I was able to achieve. I hope this was helpful and I hope you give this a try. Do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.